Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Into the Void. Today we've got a match between Wombat Combat and Meatballer here on Lost and Found, the latter edition. Top right-hand corner, Red Terran player Meatballer. And bottom left-hand corner, the Blue Zerg player Wombat Combat from Pig 2, which I believe is the second of Pig's clans in StarCraft 2. Pig pan number 2. There is a maximum number of players you can have in a clan. Whoa! Whoa! All right, drone rush time from Wombat Combat. Gonna be 15 to 14, or 15 to 15, or maybe 15 to 16, depending on how many SCBs can be built before this drone train gets there. Holy smokes. This is why you SCV scout, you guys. This is why. If you SCV scout, you can wall off and then just repair and build a barracks while you're waiting, and the drones will not be able to do anything. Okay. So just 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 worker scout for me, okay? Just do it. Just do it. All right. So, oh my gosh, command center first for Meatballer as well. And here come the drones. That is a nice drone train, actually. Looks kind of nice going around. That. Oh, that guy got stuck. He, he lost the conga line. Now here he is. It's 16 to 15. There are more drones than SEVs here right now. One drone going down, two drones going down. These guys are just running right now. That's actually kind of hilarious. Another SCV dies. Can you repair each other? Maybe you can repair each other. Where is this guy going? What the what? Where are you running to, dude? I don't know, man. But literally, Wombat Combat cannot make any more anythings. He doesn't have... Oh, wait. He has enough resources to make another SCV if he wants. Or another drone, rather, if he wants. Uh, okay, well, here's where the micro comes into play right now. Usually into the Void Games, which, again, is my weekly examination of bronze, silver, um, and gold level replays, sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com. With the subject of Into the Void, uh, generally doesn't have really high APM, but I think... Yeah, man, when there's just drone and SCV micro going on, things get crazy. It's 10 to 16 workers right now. <gasps> He's building... Wait, an engineering bay... Oh, he's going to upgrade this to a planetary fortress. If he has the resources to do so, he's sending an SEV up to try and get the necessary resources to do so. What does this cost again? 150 gas. He needs a lot more gas to make that thing happen. The drones are thankfully preoccupied by trying to kill this base, which I think is totally fine with Meatballer. As long as he keeps one base... Oh, don't get surrounded. Oh, lost another one there. This is not good. Another one goes down and another one bites the dust. Okay, pro tip. If you have a worker that is being surrounded by stuff and being killed and can't get out. Click on a mineral patch somewhere. Right click on a mineral patch somewhere and the worker will walk through the unit attacking it and go there instead. It's called mineral walking. It will keep your dudes alive. There's the lift. Where's your gas? I mean, I love the concept of making an engineering bay and a planetary fortress, but what is going on right now? Floating the command center down to the south here is going to try to mine from this location. These SCVs are going to die. Okay, we're doubling this up. It is 16 to 6 workers. Wombat Combat is winning the day. What he should be doing, honestly, at this point is making a drone and mining back here because really Wombat Combat is not threatening this. Also, this command center is literally burning to the ground, yet can receive minerals and process them and make them usable for the Terran commander, just like it's at 100% health. Go figure. Wouldn't it be interesting if buildings that were on fire or otherwise hurt would process minerals like worse and Vespian gas worse, like maybe more slowly than one that's healthy? Get out. Just get out of there. Run, lift the command center, float it somewhere else. There's nothing here to indicate that a Terran used to live in these bases. There's none, nothing at all. This one made it over to the 12 o'clock position. This one is heading down to the bottom right-hand corner SCVs here. The drones are on a rampage. Oh, snap. These ones are going back to work. Wombat Combat doing some good stuff right now. Mining with his 16 to 7 worker advantage. Recognizing, okay, all right, I can't kill these floating buildings. That admittedly is bad. Oh, this one is on fire, though. I thought it might have been repaired to a point where it's not literally burning down, but nope. Still literally burning down. <clears throat> so I can't kill them, but I've killed enough SCVs to where I feel like I have a huge economic advantage. And he does. 16 to 8 starting workers is actually kind of nuts. And you should be able to win this thing no problem in Wombat Combat at this point. However, however, our Terran player is doing okay. And our Zerg player doesn't know this base exists. He should. He should have taken account of how many command centers he saw to recognize this one's floating. Sure. 
But that doesn't mean that the other one is also floating around hurt either. So it looks like Wombat Combat is transitioning directly into a regular style game. Even going Extractor before Pool here, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Maybe it's just habit, man. Maybe it's just like, I always go Extractor Pool. In this situation, having Lings might be better, but... All right, well, trying to get enough gas, fully saturating this refinery to go ahead and throw a Planetary Fortress up, which would really do well against further drone attacks and really good against Ling attacks, too, to be certain. All right, Meatballer, this is your home now. I guess this is your natural base, or maybe this is your natural base. I guess maybe this makes more sense. You can kind of protect the engineering bay if you're there. This base is on fire, and an SCD came out, and an SCD is repairing it. And the Overlord is going to scout this. The Overlord is going to see this thing. Oh, man. I'm so excited. Female Carrick. I think there's only female Carricks on this map. I don't know how they procreate. Oh, look who found this base. Wombat Combat sure did. By scouting with a Overlord. Nicely done, Overlord scout. And this one, too. Man, Overlords. MVPs of the day for Wombat. Ah. There's a base to the south and a base to the north says wombat combat meatballers like no why am i being scouted there's your planetary fortress and might have enough resources to make this a planetary fortress before long i like it i like it a lot is making speedlings as wombat combat that's not really what you want in this situation but again it's into the void these players are not great they are not incredible players by any stretch they are learning they are growing they send me these replays to get constructive feedback and that's what I try to give them by yelling at them to worker scout. Meatballer, you wouldn't be in this position if you worker scouted. Promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Oh, this is going to be a planetary fortress too. All right. Can Fourlings kill this? It's at 500 HP. Got to repair it. I think this is a repair situation. Oh, okay. But the SCV, actually, if the SCV can buy enough time. Look at this ring around the rosy. Holy crap. This play is going to work. It's gonna upgrade to a planetary fortress and kill all of these zerglings, and the SCP is gonna live. <laughs> I love this game already. Ooh, missile turret finishes off the Overlord in the north as well. Oh, this is the best game of all time. Wait, what are you building? Oh, missile turret to get rid of this Overlord. You need to repair. You stop mining right now and you repair this. These zerglings want it. Why are you coming in here? I don't understand. You notice that splash damage doesn't affect friendly units from planetary fortresses? It does splash damage, but the splash damage doesn't hurt its friends, like Hellbats or Hellions, whereas Siege Tanks do. I wonder wh wh what the meetings are at Blizzard where they talk about balance, well, I guess at the StarCraft section in particular, where should splash damage hurt friendly units, right? It's like, well, I mean, this is a cannon. We're shooting a cannon out indiscriminately it should hurt friendly units honestly but it doesn't and i don't know why i'm not sure what the rationale is behind that decision all right man you can't do this with lings maybe ravagers just corrosive bile this whole thing down i think it would take like 40 ravagers to one shot a command center uh with corrosive bile but still it'd be fine also mutas would be fantastic here there's only one missile turret although if the repairs are good enough that might be enough to defend. You know it would be really good as Swarm Host. Oh, man. Swarm Host right here from Wombat Combat. He's got gas income, which is nice. He is going Spire, though. Perhaps feeling Caustic Spray is a decent answer. And it is. He is correct. It is. You get over here. You Caustic Spray down the Planetary Fortress. Nothing can stop it. If it, I mean, if another base tries to fly, the Corruptors can kill that, too. Yeah, I think uh, Corruptors might just straight out win this game. Third base coming up for Wombat Combat. And actually starting to float some minerals here with 32 workers to his name. It's hilarious that he's actually starting to float uh, float income. Oh, check this action out, though. Additional missile turrets coming up. Did he scan this? No, man. He literally does not have any idea <laughs> what the Zerg player is doing. No idea. None. Meatballer is playing defense, and he's sticking to it. Factory. First factory of the game at the nine-minute mark for Meatballer. Oh, boy. Overlord's moving out in pairs to different locations. This one heading up to the left. By him's lonesome. These guys are on a date. These ones are on a date. These ones are alone. They should probably meet up. Maybe get a quick coffee. Maybe talk about uh, Game of Thrones and see if they have anything in common. Right, right. That's what people do when they go on dates. I have not been... And a date with other someone other than my wife in a very, very, very long time. I don't know what people do anymore. I really don't. You got all this Tinder stuff, all this online dating. Pfft, 
I never did online dating of any kind. When I got married, the only online dating there was was like eHarmony and stuff, and I never bothered with that. So I hear that's all the rage these days, though, is the internet dating, which makes sense. It's internet everything in 2018. Anyway, our dating overlords are going to fly to their deaths into this missile turret. I have a feeling in my bones. Guy in missile turret. Whoa! Immediately get some shots off. You notice that he could be halfway through a rotation and flip around immediately to fire. There is a dude in here, by the way. Or a robot, possibly. Yep, it's a dude. Oh, mutalisks. Okay, no. Nope. Nope. Zerglings either. Uh-uh. Okay, fine. One of the turrets died. You can kind of find the sweet spot. That's not the sweet spot. This mutalisk has it figured out. Sweet spot there. This missile turret might be able to hit him, though. Okay, he got out of there. Got out of there. There's also an argument that that's just a robot built to look like a human, kind of like an adjutant. I don't know what the purpose would be. Why on earth would you build a robot that looks like a person for a mi missile turret like this? I have no idea. None whatsoever. Aesthetics, I suppose. Ooh, I like Widow Mines from Meatballer. Dude, Meatballer's doing right things here. He is doing correct things when faced with Ling Muta. Widow Mines are fantastic. Marines are really good. Missile turrets are amazing. Oh, up again. Careful with the Muta control. Man, he fully intended to take down that refinery, and I think he could have, but instead, all of his Mutas died. That's a lot of dead stuff, man. Eight Mutas down and 26 Zerglings. And really, only 12 SCVs have been killed so far for Meatballer. So we're looking at 800 resources lost for Meatballer compared to 2,500 for Wombat Combat. A Widow Mine here, burrowed. He walked all the way down, man. There was, oh wait, maybe he came out of this. He might have come out of this factory, but it looked like he came all the way down from the north. From this factory, oh, he supply blocked. Meatballer. Oh, a Wombat Combat is supply blocked too. The rare double supply block synchronization. I guess it's not that rare. Whoa, Wombat Combat just made a ton of overlords though. He was at 66 a second ago. Here we go, overlord, 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 overlord. Yeah, man. A lot of overlords right there. He does not want to be supply blocked ever again. I mean, he will be because he only has 114 available supply. When? If you never want to be supply blocked again, you need, like, infinite overlords and also a way to get rid of the 200 supply cap. Haha. Hey, who is making Corruptors? Wombat Combat is. He's getting plus one flyer attack. And this is basically Turtle Terran, but two bases as far away as they could possibly be. Although this map is wider than it is tall. So, I mean, this distance isn't the farthest. It'd be the 3 o'clock to the 9 o'clock position or vice versa. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. About as far as you could possibly go. Ravens. <gasps> Is Meatballer a Ketrock Disciple? Oh, man. If he did a mass Raven switch up from here, I would cry with excitement. I mean, maybe not cry with excitement. I don't... I mean... I cry at stuff. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely do. I've talked about this before, but in The Incredibles, the first Incredibles that came out, like in 2007, 2004, I mean, it's been a long time. Uh, that scene where Elastigirl's on the plane with her kids and a missile gets shot at them and she is just frantically trying to make sure her kids don't die. Oh, it kills me every time. Like, protecting kids is just my absolute kryptonite. Hey, Overlord dead. How did you... Must have just been constructed. Oh man, 10 H. Wait, don't come back. What are you doing? The Marines are hunting. They're hunting for you. Oh, didn't have a lot of HP to run and dodge and play games like that. Third base is done for Wombat Combat. It's 69 to 36 Harvesters. I think Wombat Combat is the better macro player here. Oh, look who's retaking his main base. Meatballer with absolutely no assurances he's going to be able to finish this thing. That's beautiful. I like it a lot. Wombat Combat has 1,600 minerals and 600 gas, which is something that I need to work on in my plate for sure. But the injects seem decently on point here. There we go. Right on cue. Decently on point are the injects. A macro hatch would probably do Wombat Combat quite well. Right here. Looking good. Extra larva. So you can spend that money that you have. Dang. 1,000, 1,000 now. 2,000, 1,000 now. Going Greater Spire, it's probably going to be Broodlords, if I had to guess, but oh my gosh, it's going to be Mass Raven. Remember how I said I would cry with joy? I, I can't do that, but I am so happy. I am ecstatic. We're going to see Mass Raven. Oh, these Corruptors, though. Look at this Marine. He's like, none of you guys can shoot down. You losers. Actually, there are 17 Corruptors and a bunch of Queens, and that's it. That is all Wombat Combat's army is right now. 
Dude, if you showed up with, like, Hellions and Hellbats, I think you would just win. Meatballer. But again, he's going for the Raven play instead, so fair enough. Fair enough. How do you kill this many Corruptors, though? I guess Broodlords are probably easier to kill because they can't shoot up. They can't really threaten you. As a Raven, he, maybe he's saving up all his money to make Broodlords out of this. Eh? Seems like a possibility. Anyway, are we still... I guess this is the one scout we've seen. Is this Marine came in, saw the additional bases, said, okay, probably a four basing or okay, fifth base coming up now at the six o'clock position for Wombat Combat. And here we go. Twelve Broodlords. That took all of his gas to make. It is 150 for a Broodlord, is it not? It's expensive, man. Yeah, 150, 150. And you're gonna cut... I don't know about Caustic Spraying this. There are... What are you doing? There's missile turrets all over the place here. Okay, he's not. He's not. He's just waiting for the Broodlords to show up. Broodlords are Broodlording their way on over. They're very, very slow. This base, I think, is just toast. Ravens need to come on down, man. They really do. I am just so much in love with these guys. I watch Ketrock games every once in a while. He posts them, posts them to YouTube, too. Uh, if you did search Ketrock, you'll find him, but it's a great time. He has some really weird, weird games. All right, man. Here goes nothing. I mean, Planetary Fortress can kill a lot of Broodlings, but they are literally infinite Broodlings. They are free. They don't cost anything. They will continue to rain upon you for the all the time until the end of time, and the base is toast. All right, so Meatballer is down to Ravens. It's going to be... I mean, okay. Well, this is gone. The natural base is being taken by Meatballer 2. His main base is looking fairly healthy, if we're honest with ourselves. Uh, he could use some more SCVs up here. I mean, it's 80 to 41 Harvesters <laughs> right now. Oh, a bunch of Zerglings came out for Wombat Combat 2. They have literally no upgrades. None whatsoever. So this natural base is going to die because it's not built yet. Got to cancel off at least in Meatballer. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, supply Depot down. Wombat Combat is maxed out at 200 Supply. Where are the Ravens? Where did they go? Ravens! Oh, you're all over here defending this, but nope, that's not where the attack is coming because guess what? Oh, he knows. He knows. Zerglings rolling in to commit suicide on this planetary fortress? Alright, Zerglings, I guess nobody really needed you anyway. This is as far as I can zoom out. I'm trying to get the Ravens and the Broodlords in the same picture here. And here goes nothing. The Broodlords have arrived. Missile turret's getting some shots off on those Corruptors, which is nice. It's got to be auto turrets, man. Oh, it is. And the Broodlords can't run. Holy crap, the Broodlords. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess... Okay, never mind. The Broodlings are actually doing pretty good here against the auto turrets. It's free units versus free units. I had not considered that the Broodlings would change their priority target to the auto turrets instead of just continuing to shell up here. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was worth a shot. Lost a bunch of Ravens in the process. In fact, uh, all but eight of your Ravens in the process. How's your energy levels? I think uh, anti-armor missile might have been better. But yeah, original, well not original, new main base is gone now. Planetary Fortress has a gajillion kills. 101 kills! On that planetary fortress. And yeah, this is just Wombat Combat winning. <laughs> okay, you almost have to target fire down the Broods, man. With the auto turrets. You have to tell them what to attack because they will just... Hmm, I guess maybe one of the Broodlords was kind of getting focused down. That one's at 41 HP. But the way these stack up... I mean, Seeker Missile would be great. But I really feel like Anti-Armor Missile is probably your best bet. Some Vikings are coming out trying to do this. But yeah, I mean, what this really came down to is Wombat Combat won... The worker attack, the worker fight, and then just ended up winning the macro battle too after that. He was just considerably the better player at this stage. And that's it. Meatballer's out. Absolutely bananas game though. The way that started, jeez. Worker, <laughs> worker rush into Terran building bases in three different locations. Into the Zerg player finally deciding to play, I guess, and just rushing directly to Broodlords. Directly to Broodlords. Like, if Meatballer had showed up with an army, it would have been really bad news. But I guess turtling up is an indication you don't really have to worry about an army showing up, right? Right. Fair enough. Well played, Wombat Combat. So, resources lost here. Uh, 11,000 
for a meatballer compared to 4,000 for Wombat Combat. Eight Mutas, a Broodlord, two Corruptors, and 76 Lings went down for the Zerg player. Meanwhile, Meatballer lost 12 Ravens, two Planetary Fortresses, 34 SCBs, four Widow Mines, three Vikings, and seven Marines, and a tank. A tank that was defending this very base right here. Weird stuff. Weird stuff and Into the Void, but that's why you watch, isn't it? That's why I cast anyway. All right, that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Into the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.
Get to the 